Hello friends, it's Exo Man. I have a little story with a caveat uh, for you quickly. Um, yeah, you know, there is little more embarrassing than causing injury to your body, especially unavo or especially avoidable injury, um, especially at my age, uh, 60 now. And, but uh, traumatic things like this are teachable moments, so I'm going to go ahead and share it. In, in, hope, in hopes that just one person will take extra care and be extra cautious. And it might be something you, that you're just not thinking about, it hasn't occurred to you, or you're just getting into and you wanna, and you need to learn this. Um, I put a nail through my finger. It's not as bad as it sounds. Um, and I'll tell you how I did this and tell you a couple of other quick stories. One of the reasons I believe that I have all my digits, here's the left hand, and I've got them all on the right as well, um, on my hands, I'm missing a toe. But one of the reasons is when I was a little boy, I watched a man cut his thumb off and with a skill saw, with a circular saw. And it, it affected me for the rest of my life because I watched it happen. In fact, I searched for his thumb for him. He said he would give me a dollar if I found it. Well, he ran off to the uh, hospital. A few of us kids looked and in in where he was working, we could not find his thumb. He came home later and found it in the in the side of the circular saw in the guard up in, in the uh, body of the saw. It had sucked up into it. Anyway, um, but that taught me a valuable lesson be very careful with power tools okay my brother he's 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 not right and he's undiagnosed he's mentally challenged guy he's it's it's very tragic but he's functioning but he's low functioning he cut his uh finger off part of part of his finger the last digit i believe with a with a circular saw so okay, anyway let me get to my story I was working, I was working too quickly. I was doing some finishing in a bathroom on a rental and I forgot that I had long brads in my nail gun. They're 16s and they're, they're long and I thought that I had the little short ones in and I was holding something and I shot a nail and it went right through and right through my finger. It went in, it went in there. You see it, it went in at an angle and it went up and through to the bed and it pushed the nail out. It pushed it, it almost shot it right off. Uh, but it, I think it nicked or went beside the bone at an upward angle in that direction. Do you see what I mean? So how lucky is that? That trajectory was from the bottom outside to the top inside just by the bone, by the nail bed. And I'm probably gonna lose that and have some deformed nail for a while uh, small price to pay the pain is not that bad anymore it's been some days and it's healing thankfully without infection knock on wood i wanted to share this with you today as a reminder be extra cautious i had a man that used to work for me he said jay whenever i whenever i'm about to do something foolish i usually hear a voice and I, says, I said, oh yeah, Ed? And he said, yeah. And I listened to it because it, it's a little voice that says, I don't know, this is sketchy. And he says, I catch it. And I say, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna, what can I do to make this less dangerous? So not holding material. I gotta say, I did this when I started out in construction 20 some years ago, 30 years ago. I shot a nail, I was putting together some floor joists and I shot a nail through and it hit a knot. Remember this too, that nails, the, bit, the really long nails, if they hit a knot, they can go in, hit the knot and redirect, glide off of that knot and redirect and come out the other side where you're holding two pieces together and thinking, I wasn't shooting that direction and it can go through your finger uh, just as easily as if you were. So be careful with nail guns, practice, uh, keep your finger off the trigger. They are guns, okay? They're just gun they're just like a gun. They shoot something. They project 
a piece of metal. They shoot a piece of metal. High power pneumatic tools are very dangerous. There have been guys in emergency rooms that have them in their heads. You know, but you remember to keep your finger off the trigger because you can, a lot of times guys will be bam, 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 and then drop it to their side and have their finger on the trigger and shoot themselves in the leg with a nail. So anyway, I didn't want to be negative or dark. And I feel kind of dumb, but I wanted to share it anyway. I hope this helps. hope you all are well and safe. Thanks, everyone. Happy summer to you.